Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I've come back down to the Air and Calder at Paulington. I'm actually on peg 414 today, the peg that Rodney was fishing when we came down here fishing for roach. Uh, I've come back with the pike gear. Just brought one dead bait rod that's uh, set up, it's about 10 foot deep out there and I've got a smelt on that at the moment on a paternoster rig. And then I'm going to do a little bit of lure fishing and I'm going to start out with one of these great big fire tiger lures. It's an absolute beast of a lure and it swims fantastic. So I'm hoping if we can't get anything on the deads, we can tempt something on the lures. I've got a real selection with me today. So fingers crossed we're going to get stuck into some of these pike that we know are following these bait fish that are shoaled up around these boats at this time of year. Well, let's get to it. The main line today is Berkeley X9 braid in £30 for lure fishing. It's the first time I've had it out of the bag um, and it feels absolutely lovely. Casts really nice. It's absolutely effortless to throw this great big lure right across the canal. I've got to stop it shy of the boat. So all we'll do is we'll work our way around in an arc. If we don't get a bite on a particular lure, once we've done a full arc, then we'll swap lures out and try something else. I'm just flicking the rod side to side. You can also let these sink a bit and just twitch them back. Just looking for any follows. Nothing so far. not something I do a great deal of lure fishing, um, probably dead baiting and live baiting is my preferred methods. But something I'm looking to get into a little bit more, I've had this rod quite a number of years now, it sounds like my reel could do with a little bit of grease to be fair, it's only a cheap Daiwa Crossfire that I'm using on this spin rod. Uh, the rod's a Rage 270 spin, Fox Rage 270 spin. And I've had it several years now, but I don't really see the need to change to anything else. Nothing on the fire tiger. So we'll try something maybe a little bit uh, more subtle. Unfortunately, I've left my silver spoons at home. I've got a spinner here. So I've actually got a diving plug on now. Sure, I've just seen a fish chasing on the top. More than likely a perch. So it's probably not going to hit this great big lure. Well, I might just try the little spinner in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to go for a faster retrieve. Really crank this back. No follow so far. I'm go for a fast retrieve and stop. So far this doesn't appear to be working, so either the pike out on the feed yet, or these lures are a bit much in the face. Just try a little spinner, yeah we'll just try this little map spinner. It's actually only got two hooks left on the treble, and uh, it doesn't have a split ring so I can't actually change it out. But two hooks is fine. I do like that as a little spinner. Um, say for some reason they're fixed on there I don't think there's any way of changing that short of putting a, cutting that one off and putting a split ring on and then putting a new treble on 
Well, I was hoping for a fairly early take. I got down here quite early this morning. Delayed a little bit because the uh, A19 was closed. So I had to take a right detour. The clocks went back last night. So... It was a really early start this morning to get here for first light. No joy on the spinner then either. So... Uh, I'll try one of the little storm rubber lures that I've got here. I have had some success on these in the past, particularly these little perch. So I've also got them in sort of uh, Jack Pike version as well. Pike love Pike. And we've got some big daddy ones. Well, I just thought I wasn't going to get a take. And the deadbait rod ripped off. And that feels like a blooming good fish. Let's try and get the other camera up so you can see it. And inside it. Stopped him. So it's a decent fish, this. Just use the clutch down. There was absolutely no indication, oh it's a lovely pike, there was no indication that that was going to take and I just saw the float dip and it had no hesitation, it just ripped into it, Whoa, that's going. Could be a double figure fish this. I think it's an absolute monster, but definitely a decent one. Don't want to lose him right now. Looks like he's in the scissors. You can see the bait. Took it on a small smelt. Here he comes. Yeah, just about. He's having, he's having another run. Fit fish. Can't remember Pike fighting this hard, but this one is. Oh, that's a beauty. Come here. Yeah, I don't like the net. Come on. One last tug, should be ours. Come here. Yes! Woo! That's a nice pike to start my predator season. Oh, that's a good fish. We'll weigh that. I think that's a mid double. I'll just give him a rest a second while I get sorted out. Still lively. Okay, mate, we're gonna get you out. So, we'll just get our tools. Take a bit of braid off the uh, reel there. Well, 
pass a bonus, hooks her out in the net. So I must have only just had him looked. So that's me uh, new savage gear net there. And it makes getting the hooks out so much easier. It's a rubberized one. And luckily for me, I didn't even have to unhook him. So That is an absolute bonus. I'll just get the rod out of the way. I'll bring him over the camera here so you can see him. It's a really impressive beast. We'll get it weighed shortly. Am I glad I got up early this morning? Just chin him. Okay. Wow. What about that then, guys? <laughs> that is an happy start to pike season. If ever I saw one. That fish has got to be getting on. 15 pound. It's got a nice bit of girth on it. Absolutely glorious. So, let's pop him back in the net a second. Give him another rest in the water. And uh, I'll sort my scales out. Right. I've zeroed the scales. So I'll pop him on. Here we go. He's gone 15 pound 13 ounces. What a start, I am made up with that. <laughs> Absolutely stunning fish. Stunning. We'll just get him up one more time for the camera and then we're done. What an absolute beast. That's made the day worthwhile. Let's get him back. He's gone. Right, so we've had that lovely pike out now. Um, pressure's off a bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a go with the fire tiger. Um, see if we can get anything on the lures. Not had any success anything chasing yet, but... If the pike come a little bit active, then uh, the lures may start to work. So we'll just work around in an arc again. It's only going to be a short session this one. I'll we'll probably pack up around midday. Anyway guys, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And smash that notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Love to get one out on the lowest today. Don't do enough of this kind of fishing because obviously we do a lot of match fishing and everything else, barbel fishing. Um, generally, if I come biking, I put the faith in the dead baits. Certainly the dead bits delivered today. But I have had some success on lures in the past. Not for the past couple of seasons. But whether that's because I don't fish them that much, or I'm doing something wrong, <laughs> I don't know. They're a bit of a mouthful, these lures. Unfortunately, I've forgotten all my spoons and spinners and the likes today. Just got so many boxes full of tackle. It's hard to remember everything all the time. And carry it all. 
sun's coming up now. I may just encourage these pike into feeding. May not. Never can tell with pike what time of day they're going to feed. I mean, normally it's a first light, which is hard to uh, get up for at this time of year. Um, or last knockings, which makes it a long day piking. So, yeah, they come out later in the afternoon and have a go. I'll come down in the morning and try and get a couple of early morning fish out. Not well, these super bright lures might have brought something, but maybe just a bit too in your face. Got a couple of jerk baits with me. Um, if I do see anything starting to cause a commotion on the top, I may pop one of these on. So they're uh, just surface type lures. They just pop along the top. That's a big savage gear one that. Proper mouthful. I think I'll try this blue and white swim bait. Give this one a whirl. And then this don't work. Oh, we're off. Oh, clutch it. Yeah, she's on. Nearly messed up there. And that's the importance of having the uh, having the alarm set. When you're messing about doing other things. So number two. Dead bits are having it. Looks another nice fish. Just seen it. Oh, that's running. Yep, it's trying to get off. It's going again. Come on, baby. Some fish in here. And they are fit. Oh, there it is. It's another beauty. Pick this one up. I don't think it's as big as the last one. Just in the scissors. Woo! Get in. Looks like it could be another double. Right. Let's just see. I think one hook's out in the net. Yeah. Another one's in the scissors. That's an angry pike. Not as heavy as the first fish. Let's click the bait runner on here. Get a bit of free line. Get him on the mat. And we'll deal with him. Alright, calm down, calm down. Have a little look what we're dealing with here. Calm down. Oh, he's rushing around and he's now got me with the hooks straight in the back of my gloves. Yeah, he's made a mess of things. But if we can just turn him around and he behaves for a second, we might actually be able to get him free. Right, 
just try and get in here because he's been very very angry Pike would not turn around straighten the scissors uh, I'll let you know in a minute mate when I've dealt with him <laughs> I've had 115 out Right, we've actually got somebody's hook lens in this fish, two of them. There are two tiny hook lens in here from match anglers, so he's clearly been hunting those, so we'll get them out for him. Naughty boy, he's been taking a lot of live fish this fish, very active, that's one out. There's one more trailing uplands all over his scissors. A little bit difficult to get into small looks with these. See if we can just pull that one out. There we go, he's now free. Well, yet another cracking pike there. I'm just going to turn to spin him around. Get in there. So it was a bit of a nightmare to deal with because he just would not behave. But uh, we've got him sorted out and we've got a couple of uh, match anglers hooks out of his jaws as well. So he's going to go back, live and fight another day. So I'll, uh, I'll just give him a quick rest and then we'll weigh him. He's gone. 13 pound exactly 13 pound right so we're two packs to the good happy days a 15 pound 13 ounce specimen and a 13 pounder uh, 13 pounder caused me a few problems when hooking him he managed to wrap himself up in the net I mean the savage gear net is brilliant if you'd been on a uh, normal sort of carp net with that it'd have been an absolute nightmare to try and get those hooks and the lead out of it um, but we got him sorted in the end and he's gone back safe and sound so I freed him up of three match anglers hooks in total uh, they were all wrapped around the treble so that was causing me a few issues as well trying to get the hook out uh, but yeah it was just hooked in the scissors um, perfect hooking just one treble in there so yeah as I say he's gone back nice and fit let's see if we can get another one so before that angry beast interrupted us we were uh, gonna have a little bit of a chuck around on this plug see if anything was uh, active out there, actively hitting things. I mean, clearly there's a uh, turkey match anglers roach all the time. Uh, when we were down here, say a rod had seven on, I think, last week. So, uh, yeah, if you're feeding the roach and bringing them in, they're hitting them. So I don't see why we wouldn't catch on the lures, unless they just don't look natural enough. Love to get one out on the lures today. And the fight that you get on a short lure rod is something else. Definitely a few fish starting to move around on the top now as well. Just keeping my eye on the bung all the time. Just off to my left hand side. this morning but I am roasting now. The sun's out. So 
this lure sits on the top and actually dives down. Now I'm only fishing that dead bit, just touching bottom. So they're clearly going down and picking a bit up, so uh, maybe. Maybe something that creeps along the bottom is going to be better suited to the job at the moment. Even though the sun's getting up and there seems to be a bit of activity. Well, it's been a long time since I've used one of these dogs. But it might just do the trick to do. I mean, there's a great big single look. I've taken all the barbs off the, uh, off the treble. Um, they do look a bit brutal to me. But I'm sure they're designed to do a job. Right, I'm just going to try this rattling plug. Uh, it's got a few ball bearings in this one. So if I can get it out my fingers, hopefully that'll make a pike rather angry. Um, big Jim, jointed lure, slow sinker. So it's designed for up to 16 foot of water. I've got 10 foot here, so it should be good to go flattened a lot of the barbs down. This fails, I'll put the wounded roach on. Apparently the roach anglers on the pole down there have been getting a lot of hassle with the pike. So clearly they prefer a real live bait. Um, yeah, a number of lads came down, lure fishing, they've not had anything at the moment. So I don't think they like plastic lures. Right, I'm just going to swap the smelt off this rig. Uh, we've had two fish on the smelts, but I'm just going to pop a mackerel on now for probably the last hour. Also, say I'm going to pack this up at around about midday. There's probably not much point fishing beyond that unless you're going to stay until uh, late knockings. So I'm going to pop this mackerel on this dead bait rig, see if this brings us one more fish on this and uh, in addition to that we're just going to get the dead roach and try wobbling that, see if we can take one on the lure rod. Very smelly bait, let's see if we can't get one on that. In she goes. So I don't fish far out when I'm piking. Just tend to fish down the insides. Unless there was a feature on the far bank, I don't see there's much point. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video on pike fishing down on the Aaron Calder. Um, I've had two fantastic fish out today, so I'm more than happy with that. It's a great start to pike season. Um, it's getting out really bright and sunny now, so I think it's probably going to knock the fishing on the head. And I'm going to pack up around about midday, so probably got about 25 minutes or so left. I'm not sure if the lads fishing for roach down at the bottom end there are still getting bothered with pikes, but I'll ask them on the way back. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just interesting to know whether the pike just want to take live baits or not. And if they do, I think next time I'll definitely come back, get a few liveys out and see how much action we can really get because uh, we've had a couple of great fish there on the dead baits um, but absolutely nothing on the lures um, tried wobbling the dead bait um, tried all the different lures that I've got with me today really or pretty much all of them and nothing seems to be working so as I say if you enjoyed the video give me a big thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one thanks for watching and until the next one tight lines